Drewski got his chin took. But check me out. I just saw this video, bro, that got me thinking it could be real deep. Like, real, real deep. Now, we almost watched this, but we ain't gonna watch this right now. We gonna get into this, right? So, check me out. How I'm gonna do this is sleeping in the studio as their beef continue. So, we gonna check that out, right? I'm gonna show you this real quick. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Then I'm gonna show you this, bro. And then we're gonna go through. But before we do that, actually, Ruski. My man out here trying to take the number one spot. Birdman ain't like that, gang. Birdman ain't like that. Let me move my pencils real quick. I got all these pencils in front of me. Got like a million pencils, son. Check me out, Drewski. Could have been records. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Is this real, son? And he got the whole C. But yo, check me out, check me out. Let me do it like this. Let me do it like this for you. You see that C, bro? You see this C could have been records? Now let me show you something. You see this bro? Cash money records. Could have been records. Now hear me out. I'ma just get straight to it, skip everything that my, then I'ma show you, right? I think that whole beef is not just about Drewski being funny, you know? I think it really got to come down to the record label, bro. Like, Birdman watching Drewski. Drewski probably think he's smart. Cause he always talking about, oh, I didn't know you was working with Drake and NBA Youngboy. Bro, what? How you ain't know Birdman working with Drake? How you ain't know that, bro? And then, check me out. You go and create could have been records. Look at how the could have been font is done. Look at the C, the dollar sign, tick through it, records. Now, forward again. Look at the same font curve, the dollar sign S, records. I don't know how much you know, but this is my, this is me putting my twist on it, right? We don't really use the cents sign anymore, but check it out. That's the sign for cents. It's the same thing as, so I'm thinking, bro, it's like a double layer, triple layer pawn where he's like making a spoof or making fun of cash money records by coming out with could have been and using the logo as for, for cents when Birdman's cash money is dollars. You feel me, bro? That's what I'm thinking. Cause look, bro, it's like, bro, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way, bro. That's like, <laughs> that's genius level trolling, son. But with that said, let me show you these videos, dog. Let's get into this one first. What it is, what it do. Yeah, right. So whatever you oh, say. So you know Che gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say. Cheers gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Did Birdman actually catch Drewski lacking? Now, this is one of the most entertaining beefs going on right now. A lot of people don't know what to believe when it comes to Birdman and Drewski. This initially started off on Instagram Live when Birdman came on Drewski's IG Live to basically confront him for disrespecting Drake, which is his artist, and also claiming that Drake stole his song. Now, a lot of people have never seen this side of Birdman before. You guys know Birdman is always serious. He never shows the playful comical side. Now, granted, Birdman was not laughing on that Instagram live. Drewski is known for bringing celebrities and rappers onto his IG live, which is always pre-scheduled. Now today, according to Birdman, 
He has confiscated Drewski's chain. Mm -hmm. Birdman put up this picture of Drewski's could have been records chain saying, surprise party, bitch, slipping in studio, rich gang. Now, Drewski did an interview with Forbes magazine where they asked him about his beef with Birdman and whether or not it's actually real. Drewski said they were good under his breath, but his uneasy body language said the total opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I'm here to tell you guys this is all cap and they're both trolling. It may seem real because of bird. What are you saying? Cash money versus could have been beef continues. Bro, you still playing with real gangsters. Done about to have you come up missing on Glades. Oh, I remember seeing this. I remember seeing when uh, Drake posted this. Birdman is persona, but Drewski is one of the hottest, youngest comedians out right now. It's all promo. It's all an elaborate marketing scheme. Now, as far as the true end goal for all this, that's all to be seen. But for now, enjoy the show because this is all entertainment. So what you guys think about this, I don't know. man? It's Birdman. Chig smooth. I don't know, bro. I don't know if this is entertainment because look. If y'all think it's entertainment, comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. You feel me? Smash the like, share, subscribe. You know, if you like the drawings to the side, all that good stuff, we're trying to get monetized. But I don't think it's entertainment, bro. Let's get into the next video I got lined up for you here. This right here is what I want to show you. He didn't show it to you, but I want to show it to you. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying this new approach, trying to do more like compilation of videos around the same topic because one of them uh somebody commented that i should do more research in the videos they like watching me draw but they want to see more research behind it all so that's why we're trying to you know cater to more people not to everybody you can't cater to everybody but if you like these new formats that i'm doing and like the, the deeper dive then cool you know like i always say we're trying to get more art focused but in everything i'm trying to put forward better content so no matter what we do i'm trying to still make it better look gang he hey this is when you know this is when you know it's serious, bro. When a man just starts saying, no, 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 no. He ain't got nothing else to say, but no. That was when you know it's up, bro. It's up. No, no. Look. Please don't. Boom. I don't know if he got kicked or if he just so heavy that he hit the wall and made that sound. Watch his fall, bro. Man, stumbling, he hit a sign or something. Ooh, and all these plaques on the wall, man. Hey, hood niggas don't care, bro. Plaques on the wall don't mean nothing. This a legit stew, that don't mean nothing. It's going down when it's going down, wherever it's going down. That's why comedians need to like stay out of certain things, bro. Like, and that's why I be saying, don't be saying pull up on me and this, that, and the third. Cause some people really would pull up on you, bro. And it would happen wherever you at. Like, why wish that on yourself? Mm-hmm. Cool, calm, gangster walking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I just wanted to show you the actual video, son. I think this person just loop it over a little bit. Then they talk about it. But now that you see the actual video, let's get into this one. Drewski got pressed again, right? By Birdman claiming Drake stole his song. Standing on business. All right, Drewski. I'm standing on business. He's standing on business. I'm standing on business. Oh man, so I hope y'all ready for y'all laugh of the day, dog. This is this is just too funny, bro. <laughs> but Birdman is checking Drewski once again. If I'm gonna I'm catch y'all up on this, if y'all don't remember the last time Birdman checked Drewski, but everything is going on, man. After Drake released his album, and Drewski feeling some type of way because he had this skit where he made a song, and the song quick. resembles a song that's on Drake's album, like. Jax. Thank you. 
word for word, bar for bar. Doing shit you niggas ain't doing. You can come to the mall, niggas gonna stand on business every time. What is he talking How about? The total? The total that is $3,000. Yeah. Off the rip, I'd have just be like, bro, you clowning, bro. You clowning. Clowning, bro. You going with this off white tee with your titties printing out, bro. Off the rip, I'd have been like, why are you clowning us, bro? And <laughs> why are you holding $10 in your hand, bro? Like, what is you doing, bro? Shit, I gotta go get some milk in the car. That's why I support black business. Don't give your money to these folk, man. They don't give a fuck about you. I stand on business. Nigga, I stand on principles and morals, nigga. I'm the type of nigga, I'm gonna stand on business by my shit. Like, I don't, what is I give a nigga the shirt off my back. I stand on business. I stand on business. I had said it because he's like, showing. Nigga be on some flaw shit. Like, so when I when I write and shit, nigga, nigga ought to be knowing how I'm coming lyrical. I'm standing on business. He's standing on business. <laughs> I'm standing on business. So I don't, I don't fuck with Twitter. I don't know nothing. I'm tight, nigga. I stand on being it first, bro. Oh, shit. Shit, I done came to China, how they come out, so they got some money on your head, bro. Ooh. Like I said, bro, folks over there talking about coming to get head. you, bro. You gonna see he's standing on business, right? Man, like I said, that shit ain't got nothing to do with me, guys. No, so. I don't feel like you standing on business, man. You had this dude trolling. Let's get to it, though. He definitely trolling. Play my shit. And so the injury, Drew's shit. But to add, and so the injury, Drewski also commented this on his post, bro. Read this, dog. This man said, "Birdman been in the gym, bro. At this chick, <laughs> this old chick. Ah, uh, bro, this is funny. This is funny as hell." So in the comment section of this post, Birdman pull up saying, "Bro, you still playing with a real gangster? Shaking my effing head." Drake also comes saying something about to have you come up missing on mm -hmm. Gladys. And it's got to be because Drewski going to go ahead and put in a tent in the capture cash money verse could have been beef continues, bro. <laughs> if y'all don't remember, let's do a flashback to when Drewski was checked by Birdman, bro. Because we are labeled as this. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We playing what's, too what's, much, bro. <laughs> what's up, man? He checked him. He said it right here. I've been looking for you, nigga. No, man. Not Bert, man. What, what's, what's up, man? I've been looking for you, nigga. I heard you was in my neck of the woods, right? I ain't think it'd have been gangster if I pulled up on you, right? So I said, you know, I got a few bitches that step us, right? I ain't even got a call. No nigga got well, you won't come outside or come inside, nigga. Nah, bro. I'm, on God, though, bro. On a serious note, because I was, I was working with young boy in like. Hey, this, bro. I heard about all that too, nigga. Oh, this ain't but the part. I actually. heard about that shit, nigga. It's like you starting to step on my toes. You little young niggas got the game fucked up, nigga. I am that nigga, nigga. I'm watching this shit you doing, nigga. What the fuck is this record label you starting? How the fuck you doing this shit without the mother? But I'm saying, Birdman, nigga, nigga, this, this Birdman, nigga? Mm-hmm. Uh, so look. Just check me out. I'm going to try to remember. Well, I have to. I'm going to put up the video that I recorded because I recorded it on Instagram and I also watched it on TMZ. But there's a little longer clip to this, like a little prequel before this part. And it, like the whole lead up to where Birdman's talking about what's with this record label that you starting, that's what got me thinking that this beef may actually be serious and it may actually be Drewski feeling like he could finesse Birdman out of some some pay from his artists. And then Drewski was trying to say, yo, bro, I didn't know you was working with Drake. I didn't know you was working with NBA Youngboy, which is why I was saying at the beginning, there's no way you could say Bird, you don't know that Birdman works with Drake. Cash Money Records, bro. How you think Drake came out? Like, what is you talking about? So that's why it just don't make no sense. And that's why I went ahead and showed you the whole could have been records, the logo, and how it's actually the same as Sense. 
and then Birdman's cash money records and how the logo is the same as dollars and how Juski really could be pulling some sort of like spoof prank some play on what Birdman got going on but Birdman probably not into these jokes Nigga, I was, I was scared to call because, nigga, I don't be knowing if you gonna pick up. But, nigga, I've been wanting to work with you, Drake, young boy, Wayne. But I'm you f***ing with niggas, niggas that f***ing with me, though. You f***ing with niggas that f***ing with me. But, nigga, I'm still trying what, to get bro, money, I nigga, just fed you. I, tell you. I didn't know you was f***ing with, though. I didn't know you was f***ing with young boy. I didn't know you was f***ing with the time. But when I was f***ing with them, nigga, I, 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 I don't know. It's, I feel like I didn't bro, do no money bro, business with them. I didn't feel wrong about what I was doing. When I reached out, I really I... put some respect on my name, bro. You playing, fine. Yeah, bro, you playing. You playing with this what you record, mean you man, didn't know? Record. That shit sound like CMB, man. Stunner. See, we ripped that, but I didn't know. Stunner, we 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 um we 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 were supposed to we're supposed to trademark that. We, that's not um. How the f can you trademark that? How can you trademark something that a nigga been working 35, 36 blood money on something that you put? Bro, I'm confused, bro. And look, on a real little one, like, first of all, I, I like what you're doing, but I don't like what you're doing because you fucking with fire. You fucking with real gangster shit, fire. I said, listen, man, I'm sorry, for real, because I'm not trying to, hey, I know about Miss Gladys. <laughs> bro, <Brother>, please. <laughs> listen. Rest in peace, Miss Gladys, boy. I heard that a million times. I love that song. Nigga, I'm telling you, man. What is he doing, bro? He's clearly very serious, bro. Or maybe he's just good at hiding his poker face. But I don't think now is the time to compliment him and tell him I've heard this song a million times. You really can't, like, copyright that. It's in the same feel. It's in the same walk of life and business. It's too similar to something that's already established. And then you're going to the people who are signed artists to the establishment that you are copying to then say you didn't know what you were doing. And Wayne Drake, listen, bro, I get it because of you. One second, gang. You, man, you, bird, I was going to come to you. I'm just waiting to get the money. I had to get the money first. I'm waiting to get the money. Then I was going to bring it to you. And then we gon' we nigga we were gonna eat together, nigga. Uh, hey, gonna, check we this out. Check this out. Check, bro, first of all, I don't do this old fake ass shit with this IG, and I'm not an internet guy. I know, I know, bro, man. That's why I said I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to bring you out of retirement, for real. I, I, I'm watching this shit. I'm watching this shit. I studied the game. I must, man, let me call this old fake ass shit this nigga doing out and holler at him and just look, make a proposition to youngin' and let's see how we can do it. I saw you with this nigga Kevin Hart. Man, him got some slick side issues too. I won't air out, but we're gonna deal with that later. But I got some other shit that you hey, got Bert, going on. Hey, leave this shit out of mind. I don't want you to call me. Nah, all y'all niggas that. together. All y'all niggas together. All y'all niggas coming, all y'all comedy niggas together. <laughs> I ain't I ain't ducking nothing. I ain't ducking nothing. Bird, hey man, what I was gonna bird for you. And he tipped. Let's check out the next video real quick. This is the video I recorded actually. This is the prequel to what it was just talking about. What what's what what's up, man? What's going on? I've been looking for you, nigga. No, man. Not Bert, man. What, what's, what's up, man? I've been looking for you, nigga. I heard you was in my neck of the woods, right? I ain't think it'd have been gangster if I pulled up on you, right? So I said, you know, I got a few bitches that step us, right? I ain't even got to call no nigga. I got bitches. Well, you won't come outside or come inside, nigga. Nah, bro. I can on God though, bro. On a serious note, because I was I was working with Young Boy and like Drake and shit. I, hey, I heard about all that too, nigga. But I heard about that shit, nigga. It's like you starting to step on my toes. You little young niggas got the game fucked up, nigga. I am that nigga, nigga. I'm watching this shit you doing, nigga. What the fuck is this record label you starting? How the fuck you doing this shit without the mother? I'm... But I'm saying, Birdman, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, this this Birdman, nigga. Uh, so look, 
nigga, I was I was scared to call because nigga, I don't be knowing if you gonna pick up. But nigga, I've been wanting to work with you, Drake, young boy, Dwayne. But I, you nigga, fucking, fucking with niggas that fuck Wayne. with me though. You fucking with niggas that fucking with me. But nigga, I'm still trying to get Wayne. But nigga, I'm trying to tell you. I didn't know you was fucking with though. I didn't know you was fucking with young boy. I didn't know you was fucking with Drake at the time. But when I was fucking with them, nigga, I I I, I don't know. It's I feel like I didn't bro, do no money bro, business with bro, them. So I didn't bro. feel wrong about what I was doing. When I reached out, I really I put some respect on my name, bro. You playing, fire. You playing with that fucking record label. Could have been records. That shit sound like CMB, man. Son. See, we ripped that, but I didn't know. Son, we 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 uh we 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 we're supposed, to, we're supposed to trademark that. We, that's not uh um, how the fuck can you trademark that? How can you trademark something that a nigga been working 35, 36 blood money on something that you put bro? I'm confused, bro. And look on a real little one, uh, like first of all, I, I like what you're doing, but I don't like what you're doing because you fucking with fire, you fucking with real gangster shit, fire. I said, Stunner, listen, man, I'm sorry, for real, because I'm not trying to, hey, I know about Miss Gladys. <laughs> Brother, please. <laughs> listen, rest in peace, Miss Gladys, boy. I heard that a million times. I love that song. Nigga, I'm telling you, man. Bro, is he joking? Is he is he smiling right you, here? You, man. You, bird. I was going to come to you. I'm just waiting to get the money. I had to get the money first. I'm waiting to get the money. Then I was going to bring it to you, and then we going to... We, nigga, we were going to eat together, nigga. Uh, we I, check gonna, this we out. Check this together. out. Check out. I got, a, I got a proposition for you. I got a proposition for you, right? Yeah. I'm watching what you're doing. And I like what you're doing. Nigga, you that came up. And you got this shit all on TV. How about you keep running it and I buy your shit into my shit and we become one and I help you become a mega star. Your fake ass label you running around with oh, um i got oh, unlimited, bro. Un bro. unlimited bro. amount of money bro. first of all i don't do this old fake ass shit with this ig and i'm not an internet guy i know i know bro, man. that's why i said i'm sorry i didn't even mean to bring you out of retirement for real i, I i'm watching this shit i'm watching this shit i studied the game i must man let me call this old fake ass shit this nigga doing out and holler at him and just look make a proposition to youngin and let's see how we you can do it. I saw you with this nigga Kevin Hart. Me and him got some slick side issues too. I won't air out, but we're gonna deal with that later. But I got some other shit that you hey, got Bird, going hey, on. Hey, leave his shit out of mine. I don't want you to fuck me. Nah, up. all y'all niggas together. together. All y'all niggas together. All y'all niggas coming. All nah, he seems serious together. right I here. I ain't ducking nothing. I ain't ducking nothing. Bird, Bird, Bird. hey man, what? I was gonna, Bird, for you. And he's gone. Bro, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Mm mm mm. Now, I think he talks about his could have been records here, but it looks like this was a whole like comedy thing. So I don't really want to go over this, but I'm gonna just wrap it up there, gang, because I don't really want to spend forever talking about this right now for real. But that's just my assumptions, bro. I feel like this beef is real and it actually ties into what Birdman was just talking about there with the whole record label thing, like behind the scenes. He's probably doing some real shysty business moves with cash money record artists. And Birdman is like, yo, what are you really doing? You feel me? But if I'm wrong, let me know. If you know more about the hip hop news and the beef between Birdman and Drewski, comment down below. Let me know. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, at TJ. Hit me up there in the DMs. Or if you like my art, if you like my drawing, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my store. And until the next video, have a great day, everyone. All right, peace.